let's explore an interesting application in electrostatics and that problem is propulsion of one charged object using another charged object here we are trying to propel a spherical shaped object using a very large plane so electrostatic propulsion of a charged object let's uh, see the problem in depth a small charged object of mass m is placed on a very large flat plane on the ground the mass has a fixed charge of q coulombs and that plane is initially uncharged and later it is charged with the same sign as that on the object so what should be the minimum charge density of the plane to get the following results we are neglecting air resistance first to just cause the object to move in upward direction second accelerate upward with a equal to 10 g third accelerate in upward direction with a equal to 100 g mass of the object 10 kg so here we have a very large plane plane is initially uncharged an object is placed on the plane let's assume the object to be spherical of course any shape is valid but the object should be very small compared to the plane here the object is negatively charged and it's constant throughout the problem now the plane is charged the plane acquires the same negative charge as that present on the object that is the negative charge so there are two negative charges like charges repel the object is repelled and travels in the upward direction so we are considering the effects of gravity that means gravity is acting in downward direction and the object is going in the upward direction due to repulsion so the question is what should be the surface charge density after charging the plane so that object acquires different acceleration now let's see the force diagram this is the object the electrostatic repulsion force is acting in the upward direction gravitational force on the object due to its mass is acting in the downward direction so the resultant force fe minus fg is mass into acceleration that's all it's a very simple case but what is electric force electric field into the charge but here the plane is very large so it can be assumed to be an infinitely large plane for an infinitely large plane that is uniformly charged the electric field at any point is sigma by 2 epsilon naught that we have shown in the previous video the same result can be used here so that makes the net electric force in the upward direction as sigma by 2 epsilon naught into charge so let's assume the charge to be q so the net electric force is sigma by 2 epsilon naught into q the downward force is due to gravity is nothing but mg Fe minus Fg is equal to Ma. Substituting Fe, Eq minus Mg is equal to Ma. But what is E? Sigma by 2 epsilon naught into charge Q minus Mg is equal to Ma. Sigma by 2 epsilon naught is equal to M into G plus A by Q. That gives out sigma 2 M epsilon naught into G plus A by charge. So if we charge the plane to this density value, we are going to get the required acceleration in the object due to repulsion. So mass of the object in the problem is known. It is 10 kg. Epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 power minus 12. G is acceleration due to gravity. That can be either 9.8 or approximately 10. A set to the desired requirement value. That is zero in one case when the object is just beginning to move and second case a is equal to 10 g because we want the object to acquire 10 times acceleration due to gravity and in third case 100 times acceleration due to gravity charge q is one coulomb substituting we get the answer so to just cause the motion here is the sigma 1.77 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb per meter square to just get an acceleration of that means zero just cause the motion that is 1.77 into 10 power minus 9 coulombs per meter square to get 10 g acceleration sigma is 1.9 into 10 power minus 8 coulomb per meter square and to get 100 g it is 1.787 into 10 power minus 7 coulomb per meter square that's all this can be used in propulsing object using electrostatic force thank you